What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over how to disable syskey on your virtual machine. Let's get right into it. So first things first, I admit you will not be able to do this on every single version of Windows 7 and Windows 10. It's really just kind of a crapshoot whether or not you're going to be able to do it. Now I know there are specific versions that you can, I'm not really aware of which ones are which, so you can give this a try. You're going to be able to figure out rather quickly if you can or cannot do it. To get started, we're going to press the Windows key and the R button at the same time. Got to make sure I'm on the right machine here and we're going to open up this this run menu and then we're going to want to type in gpedit.msc and press ok and if nothing happens or you get an error message then you know you can't do it if it loads then you know you can um if you can't i'm sorry i don't know how to help you but if you're still with me let's go ahead and get right into it want to make sure you're under user configuration click on administrative templates you want to go into system and then we're going to want to find the don't display, no, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, don't run specific window applications. Double click on that. Um, it should be loading. There it is. Takes it a second. Make sure you click enabled. Uh, list of disallowed applications. You're going to want to show that. And then simply we're going to want to type in syskey. No, no, we're not typing in syskey. Yes, we are. Type in syskey.exe. There we go. And then press OK. Want to apply it? Press OK again, and that is all we have to do to test it. We're going to press Windows and the R key at the same time. We're going to type in syskey. Press OK, and we get the error message. So this means that anybody trying to type in syskey and lock you out of your machine are going to come up with this restriction, unless they know how to unblock it. Um, well, then this is where they're going to be stuck. They won't be able to do anything else. And we did that literally in under three minutes. Super easy to do. So now nobody can syskey your machine. Neither can you, but if you need to, for whatever reason, get the syskey back up and running, all you have to do is reverse engineer what I showed you and unblock that syskey. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how we can access and activate our Windows 7 here. Um, it is a Windows 7 specific tutorial. So I apologize for anybody else that's following these tutorials on a different version. I don't know how to do it on Windows 10. I don't know how to do it on 8. Uh, but if you're on Windows 7, just like me, I'm going to show you how to activate. And just to show you that I'm not activated right now, I'm going to computer and go properties. Um, and we have three days until automatic activation. We can activate now or change the product key. So I don't have a product key or an activation key. Um, so in three days, I'm not going to be able to use this operating system anymore unless I can get that fixed. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix it. A little disclaimer on that. I'm going to give the same disclaimer at the beginning of that video. I did not make the hack slash crack for the, uh, for the windows activation. So use it as your, at, at your own risk. Um, I don't think that it, that it has any sort of viruses or anything in it. And I know that uh, most people giving tutorials try to stay away from using the word virus at all, but um, I've used it. I haven't had any problems with it, but you know, use it as your, at your own risk. And if you are interested in seeing how I do that, then go on to the next video. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.